A pulley system is another type of machine that operates based on a principle that's somewhat unique about the tension force. Tension and friction are the two forces that don't really have a direction, but instead exist to pull against something. So tension doesn't normally go up or down, except when it needs to be fighting some other force. So for example, in this particular system, the uh, weight of this brick, this 10 kilogram brick, is pulling down and so tension exists to pull up. At the same time, this person who's pulling on the system, the tension will exist to resist the force that he is putting on this rope here. And so because of that, pulley systems allow you to, again, perform a lot of work with a smaller amount of force by doubling up or tripling up or quadrupling the effect of the tension force. And so here, you'll notice that because you have two stretches of rope here that are going against the gravitational force of 100 newtons, that tension is basically counting twice. So rather than having to lift it up with brute strength to have 100 newtons of force pulling upward, instead you can create 50 newtons of force by pulling on this rope and that will double. So you get 50 newtons pulling up here and 50 newtons pulling up here. And that will be enough to lift this object that has a weight of 100 newtons. Over here in this pulley system, you'll recognize that you essentially triple the effect of the tension force. So the tension's pulling up here, here, and there. And so as a result, you are going to be lifting this 100 Newton object, but using only around 33 Newtons of force. So a person who's pulling on this will only need to create 33 point something Newtons of tension force, and that will be enough to resist the 100 newtons of gravity that is pulling down on this object. And so that's the general principle of how pulley systems work. They basically double up or triple up or quadruple the effect of the tension force and thus allow you to perform a lot more work uh, with a lot less force. So it's the same principle. You increase the amount of distance that you're pulling and thus it allows you to reduce the amount of force. Now, where does the distance come in? Well, if you're going to be lifting this object one meter, you would have to pull two meters of rope in order to generate that tension force. And so this person will be using a smaller force, a 50 Newton force, over a two meter distance. And that will allow them to perform the work necessary to lift a 100 Newton object over one meter. And so pulley systems operate like all other machines you increase the distance to decrease the amount of force necessary and you get a mechanical advantage based upon the fact that if you have one tension force but the tension is operating in two different areas, that will uh, allow you to reduce the amount of tension necessary in order to perform that work. So the mechanical advantage in a pulley, you can just look at how many times this tension force is doubling up. So here your mechanical advantage will be three to one because you have the tension force pulling upward three times. Whereas here your mechanical advantage would be two to one. And so to get that 100 newtons of output, you would need to use only 50 newtons of input. And so that's how a pulley system works.